Hi everyone, it's the Tutorials by KN here and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this Frostless Tear Bracelet. This is an original design of mine and it is a hook only bracelet. And the person who named this bracelet is my best friend J.I. You might have seen her in my pop and cooking, my latest pop and cooking video. But if you want to make this bracelet, be sure to stay tuned for that. And if you want to see more bracelets like this, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe. So with that further ado, let's get started. So first off, you are going to be grabbing the colour of your cap band and I am going to be using metallic white for that. And I'm basically going to make a cap band so that it should look something like this. And now you're going to grab your first middle colour band and you're going to grab your colour for the outside as well. And I'm just going to be using the same colours as I showed you in the intro. So just pull that through. And sorry if it's too bright, I'll just fix that there. Okay. So now it should look something like this and basically the colour that you want should be in the middle. The colour you want for the middle should be in the middle as always and the colour you want on the outside should be on the outside. And now what you're going to do, you're going to be grabbing three bands of your outside colour. And then you're going to be pulling your, your band through the first loop just like that and then you're gonna do whoops you're gonna do the same thing but you're gonna pull it through the first two loops and then just like that and now you're going to be needing your other hook and I forgot to remind you that you will need two hooks for this and then I'll just Go off camera and get my other hook because I forgot to get it. So I'll come back. So now I have just got my other hook. And what you're going to do is you're going to flip the hook with the bands on it. You're just going to flip it around just like that. And if you are left handed, you are going to do the same thing. But you should, your hook should be on the right. Okay, so now you should watch carefully for this part. It is quite hard to do it on camera, so please watch carefully. So you're gonna grab your hook, stick it through the first two loops, then pull those two loops off, just like that. Then now, you are going to grab the tip of your hook and place it inside these two bands, and then grab the single band back up onto the hook so that in total you should have three loops all together and then you're going to be grabbing your last third band and pull it through all those loops just like that then once you have finished that you're going to grab those three remaining bands onto that other hook that you need then now you're going to do the same thing again Grab three more of your outside colour and pull it through the first loop just like that. You can grab your next band and then pull it through the first two loops just like that. And then again, you're going to flip your hook around, grab your first hook that you used before stick it through the first two loops then take it off just like that then you're gonna again stick the tip of your hook through the two loops then go back up grabbing the single band so in total you should have three loops all together then you're going to grab your remaining band and pull it through the first three loops 
just like that. Then what you're going to do, just gonna grab these two loops back on to the hook that all your other bands are on. And in total, you should have six loops, just like that. Then now you're gonna grab two more loops, then pull it through all those bands. And if I said two more loops, I meant two more bands. And then just bring it through all those six loops, just like that. And then now you are going to repeat it. I am going to show you guys one more time so that just in case you guys or some of you guys don't get the hang of it yet. But as you keep doing it, you'll get used to it. So now, pull it through the first loop. Grab your outside colour and pull it through the first loop. Whoops. Then grab the same colour again and then pull it through the first two loops. Just like that. And now we are going to turn your hook around and then do the same pattern as we did for the first thing for Bobby. I don't know what's it called, but you're gonna grab the tip of your hook and pull it, put it through the first, push it through the first loop, then bring it back up, grabbing that single loop. Then in total, you should have three loops. Then grab another band and then pull all those loops through. Then you're gonna just grab those remaining bands onto your pink hook. Just like that. And make sure all that your bands are in place. Then again, you're gonna do the same thing. Just move that out of the way. Do the same thing. Pull it through the first loop. Just like that. Grab another band, the same colour, and then pull it through the first loop. Just like that. Then you're gonna flip your hook around so that the tip of the hook should be facing to the right. Then you're gonna grab your next, well, your other hook. You can also use a crochet hook for the this, guys. So you can use any hook. But I just have this on hand. And then you're going to do the same pattern again. So you grab the tip of your hook, stick it through this loop, single chain, then bring it back up, bringing the single chain. And again, you all should have three loops. Then grab your remaining band and pull it through. Just like that. And make sure that you hold all the bands on this loop so it doesn't fall off like I did before. And then now you're gonna just grab two bands and make sure the band in the middle should be on top. And then just pull all those six loops through. Just like that then that is basically the whole entire pattern and step for the whole bracelet. And then once you have finished making the whole bracelet, the full length of your wrist, just come back and watch how to finish it. I, you guys should know how to finish it. I can't talk today, but, but you guys should know how to finish it. It's just basically grabbing one single band and make sure it is your main colour band or your outside colour band and just pull it through all those six loops and then just clip it. Come back when I finish the full length of my wrist or bracelet. Blah, can't talk today. So once you have finished making the full length of your bracelet, it should look something like this but in your own colours. And now once you have finished, you should end off with this and make sure you put the single chain through those three loops 
as you can see here. And now what you're going to do is grab your main colour band and then just pull all those six loops onto that peg. And then once you've done that, gra grab your C-clip and basically clip it. Just like that, fix that up. Then, move that to the side. And then clip the cap band. Then now, you have finished your full length of your bracelet. So thank you all so much guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed making this bracelet, but if you did, be sure to take a photo and post it on Instagram with the hashtag tutorialsbyKN and don't forget to tag me. So I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!